Now, if we would like to relocate a panel, you'll notice you'll notice if you look up at the title of the panel, there's a little handle here. It looks like a bunch of little dots. You can see it in several different places. If you would like, you can click and drag that item. Now, notice as I do, if I wanted to say move it up here, see how you get that little kind of purpley grayed out space? That's your drop zone. If I let the mouse go right now, it's going to put that panel right there. And you can see here it is. Now, if I click and drag and move it to the side instead of in the middle, you see there, it's going to move it to the side. But not only has it moved it to that side, it has actually created a new frame, which I can add new items to if I so desire. Now, if I'd like to move an entire frame, then I simply click and drag from this opposite end. And you can see I've moved my entire frame. Now, if I select this panel here and hit the tilde key on my computer keyboard, that's the key to the left of the number one with the little squiggly on it. It has enlarged to full view panel I had selected, and if I hit the tilde key again, it puts it back right where it was. Another helpful bit of information is if you go up to the Edit menu and go down to Preferences and select User Interface, you also have the ability to control the brightness or the darkness of your screen, or go back to the default. And of course, you can click and drag and resize the panels and the frames any way you'd like. Now, suppose you've pulled all the tools out here that you like and you've arranged it the way that you find good for you. You'd like to be able to get to this easily without having to do all these things manually each time you go to work in Premiere. Well, then we very simply go up to the Window menu, choose Workspace, Select New Workspace, give it a name, say OK. And so now you see that your workspace now appears as an option. And so that's a little overview of your workspace area.